big start. But uh, th this 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 extraordinary creature, whatever we call it, this pandemic is is caused by something which is evolving all the time. Surely. Yeah. So um, th these viruses are pretty tricky for the immune system. They've got lots of methods to avoid the immune system. They don't mutate as fast as influenza, though. The mutation rate in this virus is pretty slow. But the intensity of your immune response is not so great for this virus. So in many ways, the, I think the observation made by the previous speaker is right. We're probably going to need a seasonal coronavirus vaccine that we all have every year to give us protection. And that may change with mutations. but. This isn't a this isn't a very variable virus, and uh, and I suspect it may stay the same for some years before we need to change it. And finally, Sir John, the question everybody's asking you: When, when, when will it be? When can I have one? <laughs> yeah. So, as you may have spotted, there's a wide range of views on this subject. Um, I, I, I'm I'm hopeful we're going to start to get a readout. Uh, early in the autumn as to whether this thing works or not. A lot of this depends on the intensity of infection. So in order to get a readout, you have to have a certain number of incident cases in the control vaccine population. And that then tells you that you can look at the real vaccinated population and see whether they've been protected. So I'm, I'm hoping that's going to happen pretty smartly this autumn. But then don't forget, there are these vaccines are unlikely to completely sterilize a population. They're very likely to have an effect which works in a percentage, say 60 or 70 percent. We'll have to look quite carefully and the regulators will have to look quite carefully to make sure that it's done what we need it to do before it gets approved. So there will be a delay between the outcome of the trial and a decision whether it can be approved as a vaccine. Uh, and of course, anything that happens... Professor John Bell. That, yeah. Uh, can I'm sorry, I, just I didn't say, mean to cut you right uh, off like that. Uh, can I just say that yeah. anything that happens to undermine the legitimacy of regulators to make independent decisions is, in my view, profoundly unhelpful. Uh, Professor Sir John Bell, thank you very much indeed for joining us.